In this video, we're going to learn how to host code on github.com using GitHub Desktop. So this is Walkthrough GitHub. It is a repository or a collection of code that lives on github.com. Has a bunch of text here, has a bunch of files here, nothing too crazy. Over here, this is another repository or collection of code. Uh, it's called Tabletop, it was a JavaScript project, did some magic stuff, doesn't really work anymore, we can ignore it. Just know that it's a collection of code. It's a collection of code. And what we're gonna do is take a collection of code from our machine and push it up onto the internet. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use GitHub Desktop. There are other ways to do that, mostly using the command line, but to keep things simple, we're gonna use GitHub Desktop. So what I'd like you to do is click download. Once you download it, you're gonna need one more thing besides GitHub Desktop. The other thing you need is a collection of code that you wanna host on the internet. I have a folder on my desktop called GitHub Video. It has a couple files in it, um, sample.py, uh, this is a Jupyter Notebook, .ipynb. These two files I wanna turn into a collection of code that lives on the internet. So it would probably live at, let's say, github.com forward slash jsoma forward slash uh, GitHub Video, something like that. So in order to do this, make sure that the folder that you have this content in, the content that you wanna push up to the internet, you want all of this on the internet. Don't pick your entire desktop. Don't pick you know, all the class notes you've ever taken. Think of this folder or directory as a single project that you wanna host in its own, you know, its own little perfect little space on github.com. So make sure it's only the files that you're looking for here. Whether it's a group project, whether it's a homework assignment, whatever, you just want that one set of files. Nothing more, nothing less. So now that we've got that figured out, we're gonna open up GitHub Desktop. Uh, we're gonna sign in. Now, if you do not have a GitHub account, you can create an account. I do have an account though, so I can just click sign into GitHub. I'm gonna let it do whatever it wants. I'm gonna agree to whatever it wants. And then is that my name? Is that my email? Yes, perfect. Your page right now probably looks a little bit different than mine. On the right here, it shows me all the different repositories that I have. Remember, a repository is a collection of code. I have a lot of collections of code, but we want to make a new one, right? We want to turn this directory on my computer, GitHub Video, into a repository. Now, you might think that you would click create a new repository on your hard drive. And if you did that, I guarantee you something was going to go wrong. What I recommend doing, just so everything works out the way you expect, is click add an existing repository from your hard drive. It's gonna say, where does the repository live? I'm gonna click choose and select GitHub video. This is the folder that has my content inside. Open, it yells at me. It says it's not a Git repository. Do you wanna create one? I say, sure, let's create one. That name seems fine. That description seems fine. Yeah, that's definitely where it is. Now there are a couple other options here. Um, initialize this repository with a readme. Yeah, let's do that. There's also git ignore. And you're like, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, it's fine. Just click Python. Just click Python. Create repository. We're gonna go over what both of those options meant, but only later when we see them. So I made a repository. I need to connect it to GitHub though. Right now it only exists on my machine. So I need to say, hey repository, please connect to GitHub. So I'm gonna publish it by clicking publish. Usually when you're dancing around in GitHub desktop, you just click whatever the blue button is and you'll be safe. So publish repository, yes, that's the name. I don't need a description, I do not want this code to be private. I am unashamed. I want it to be exposed to the entire world. I'm gonna click publish repository and then it's going to yell at me. The issue is I've tried to make this video before and I failed, 
but I did get to the point where I already created a repository called GitHub Video. Now, if you're in a situation where you get this sort of error, um, you can just change the name down here, you know, GitHub Video 2, awful, awful. I'm gonna go on here to my GitHub Video repo and actually delete it. So I'm gonna go to settings, scroll down to the danger zone, delete this repository, and then type what it tells me. Delete it, perfect. Now I'm gonna try to publish it again. Publish it again, and it works, great. If I want to view it on GitHub, I can click view on GitHub, and there it is, beautiful. One thing that is kind of bad about this, let's be honest, is the description down here. It just says GitHub video, whereas on this repository, it's got like all kinds of text and images and it's super, super fun. So let's say our first order of business is we wanna give like a nice homepage to our uh, walkthrough tutorial, whatever it is here. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go back to GitHub Desktop and I'm gonna say, hey, open all of this in Visual Studio Code. And there it is. I have a sample.py file. We have these two git attributes, git ignore file, and we have the file we're interested in, which is readme.md. MD means markdown. The readme file is the file that is displayed right here. So if we change what it says right here, it will change what is shown right here. So let's uh, change our title to be a too long introduction introduction on how to use GitHub Desktop. I hope you enjoy it. Awful, but you know, it's fine. So I save it here, I refresh github.com and nothing happens. And you say, but I saved it and it's a repository and it's connected and I say, it doesn't matter. We have a few more steps. After you've saved something or make a change on your computer, we have to jump through some hoops in order to get it up on the internet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, make sure you saved it, Command S or File Save. Then we're gonna go to GitHub Desktop and it's gonna say, hey, you changed readme.md. You deleted this line that said GitHub Video and then you wrote this text instead. Now, like I said, always pay attention to where the blue button is. The blue button is down here, commit to main. First, let me, let me write a little description of what we're doing here. Um, we're adding some info about the repo to README. Sounds good. A commit is when you're making like a real important save. A commit is you saying, let's make a checkpoint. A commit is you saying, I have made enough changes that I want to push these up onto github.com. Please like super save all of my saves. So step one is saving inside of your editor or saving inside of you know, Jupyter Notebooks or whatever. Step two, the GitHub version of saving is committing. You don't need to know what main means. Just click that button. Okay, so it made that change. Beautiful. Refresh the page. Change is still not there, right? We wrote a bunch of beautiful text here. Still not there. One more step. Blue button, right? In order to have our changes show up on github.com, in order to have our commits show up on github.com, what we need to do is push our commits up to github.com. Literally the command is, is called push. So we're gonna push our commands up to GitHub. It says push commits to the origin remote, which is just a fancy way of saying the place on the internet that we're connected to. So push our commits to github.com. Sure, push origin, yeah, go for it, go wild. And now we can refresh and life is perfect, everything's up there. Now the other file, along with the readme that we selected before is this file called gitignore. So what gitignore is, is a list of files for git to ignore. And if you see it here, it's just, you know, pretty, pretty normal, boring list. Um, one file you usually want to add if you're on OSX is ds store. 
it's a file that really doesn't do anything that shows up on your computer all the time. Um, we did end up pushing one already. Just ignore it, it's fine. You can delete it from the command line, but we're not gonna jump through that hoop. The reason why you have a git ignore file is let's say I have a file called like secrets.txt. I probably shouldn't, but I could have a file and it says my password to my bank account is, you know, 31337. And I'm so excited, this is my secret file. Um, and then I have a not secrets file where I say you'll never know my secrets, right? Because it's true. So if we go to GitHub Desktop, it might say, oh, hey, you made some changes. You made a change to Git Ignore. You added DS Store to it. You added a new file called notsecrets.txt. And you added a file called secrets.txt. And I say, oh, 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 I don't want secrets.txt to be on github.com. It's my secrets, right? So I uncheck it. And then I say, okay, okay. So I have these and I'm going to call this um, updating my not secret things. And I'm going to commit it, right? Make that save. And now I'm going to push to origin. So push it right back up on github.com. And now we see I have my not secrets.txt lives up there. My git ignore is updated with DS store and not or my secrets.txt has not been uploaded. The problem is though, every single time I want to make a change, I'm going to have to make sure I uncheck secrets.txt. I'm going to uncheck it. I'm going to uncheck it because I don't want my secrets up there. Now, the problem is that I will probably accidentally check this once and then add secrets.txt and push it up and people are going to hack my bank account and it will be terrible. So what the git ignore file allows us to do is if I go back to Visual Studio and I go to git ignore and I say, hey, please ignore secrets.txt. When I go back to GitHub Desktop, it now doesn't look at secrets.txt anymore. It just says, hey, your git ignore has a change. And that change is, I want to ignore secrets.txt. So if you ever have files that you do not want added, just at, or added to your repo or pushed up to github.com, all you need to do is add them to your git ignore, and then everything will be good. And so, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're solid. Um, if you have files you don't want to change, you uncheck them. It tells you when you have updates, all that. Um, here, one, one more thing will change. One more thing will change. Um, the worst thing you can ever do is click this edit button right here, which edits a file. So I'm going to edit my readme. I'm making a big mistake right now. Commit changes and now my readme is updated. Um, if I have code that exists on github.com, it does not exist on my computer if I haven't copied it back to my computer. So remember how we saved files, we made commits, and we pushed those commits up to GitHub. But now we're in a situation where we have code that's on GitHub that we wanna to bring to our computer. This is called pulling. It's very common if you're working with other people. Um, let's say someone makes a pull request on your repository and they add new code or fix a bug. Let's say you have coworkers working in the same repository. They might push some of their commits. If you want all of the edits that are up on github.com to copy to your computer, we're going to go to GitHub Desktop and we're going to say fetch origin which means, hey, go talk to github.com, see what the deal is. And it says, oh, there's one commit that's on, remember origin remote just means github.com. There's one commit that's on github.com that we need to bring to our computer. Pushing is the act of sending something to GitHub. Pulling is the act of bringing something from GitHub. So let's just confirm, readme.md does not say I'm making a big mistake. But then if we click pull origin, now there it is. Readme.md now has that info there. Um, and we're good to go. So I think that is it. 
Um, we covered how to create a new repository. We covered how to make commits, how to push things up, how to pull things down. Yeah, I'd say you're a genius now. Good work.